Welcome to Around the House. I'm Ron James, Real Estate's Most Wanted. Today, we're with Home Inspector Darren St. Jock from Nook and Cranny Home Inspections. We're going to be talking about thermography. Yes, I said that, thermography. Okay, Darren, so uh, in the past, home inspectors haven't been able to look behind the walls. Mm -hmm. Have you guys just developed x-ray vision, or what's happening now? Uh, well, let me introduce you to an infrared camera. Uh, what this allows us to do is actually see temperature variances that are behind walls, under floors, um, and such things as moisture intrusion, because moisture will hold a different temperature than its surroundings. So we're able to visualize it. So what the camera does is it takes that and turns it into a visual image for us. Well, let's see that. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you. I've already placed something behind this wall. You can't see there's anything there, but when I scan up, you'll see that cold blue spot. That is actually a bottle of cold water behind that drywall. Now, wow. that's just to give you a visual example. Another one is if you just come and stand beside me for a second, I see you're holding up the wall, but I'd like to show you the other side of the, uh, wow. the spectrum. You can actually do that? Well, let's come over here and let me show you where your hand is. You can clearly see wow. quite a lovely handprint that you left behind. And that will stay there for quite some time. So wow. what this camera does is it finds those temperature variances. Now, it's not obviously just a fancy uh, you know, um, thermometer. It sees the temperatures behind the walls or the floors that may be there for moisture, uh, could be there from overheating electrical. Wow, that could would be, be there. important. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, these cameras, for instance, radiant heating in ceilings and floors, uh, it'll see the lines because of the temperature variance and actually turns it into a visual. So if there was a break there, we'd be able to see exactly where that break was, as opposed to tearing up a whole floor to get to it. You could pull up one tile, do the repairs, put it back. Um, now, you do this as part of your home inspection or as an add-on to your home inspection. Yeah, it's an upgraded inspection. Why would, a why would a client want this? You know what? It gives them another, uh, another view of the house. Uh, for the longest time, home inspectors have been limited to simply a visual inspection at the time of the inspection, etc. Right. This will allow us to go beyond that. And sometimes moisture is there, and a moisture meter is uh, specific to that point. Whereas with this camera, I can stand back and scan a wall and see the whole wall. So it makes it easier for me to see that there could be a problem. Of course, you have to back it up with moisture meters afterwards to say, yes, there is moisture there or how much moisture. These are very sensitive and they'll pick up mo slightest amounts of moisture. Um, you have to determine through training and education, of course, that that is just minor and it's not an issue. Sometimes it's just cold air spaces, uh, not necessarily moisture. Um, so you would use this for... Moisture or someone who's concerned about mold, mm -hmm. um, possibly looking at uh, their heating and ventilation system, whether it was functional. Yes. Um, you had mentioned wiring. Does mm -hmm. it work with knob and tube wiring? Uh, it works with all wiring. Any, any wiring that's overheating is going to show up as, uh, again, it's going to show up as a higher temperature um, than its surroundings. Again, it's, you still have to go to that next level and say, okay, well, how hot is it? I mean, you know, all wires under, under power are going to have some heat load. Right. That's normal. Uh, but it, what's determined is how high that goes. Uh, these cameras are used also in scanning electrical panels, especially in commercial, uh, industrial systems, where you wouldn't go around testing each breaker's temperature. But you look at the whole panel with this, and you'll be able to determine if one particular breaker or connection is overheating. Um, that could take down a whole operation. Uh, for, a, for a silly little thing like tightening up a lug nut. And once that gets, in, you know, information is passed on to the client, they can then turn around and get their electrician and say exactly here needs repairs. So this really can act as a safety tool, a preventative tool, yes. maintenance tool, um, a real heads up. And, and um, if you had any final words for our viewers on this, what do you recommend about you're calling it infrared or mm -hmm. I or something? Um, well, the IR, the infrared, well, that, that, that basically refers to the color spectrum below the red, which is beyond our visual inspection for eyes. Um, the thermal camera, it's, it's the same thing. A thermal camera, infrared camera, they work on the same concepts, uh, that it's taking a thermal difference and turning it into a picture for you. Okay. Ron James, Real Estate's Most Wanted, with Darren St. Jacques, Nook and Cranny Home Inspections, and thermography.